Hello, and welcome back again to an instructional series. This video demonstrates how to prepare the additive manufacturing environment before defining the additive process on 3D Experience platform. So basically in this video, we will define and customize the manufacturing environments, such as machine and build tray. In essence, it is quite simple, it is a two-stage process, which involves first defining and customizing resources, such as powder and machine, and the last is creating an accessory to position the parts in the machine. This accessory is also known as the build tray. So, let's get started. So, to begin, we will create PPR context first. To do so, go to the Add menu, and select New Content. Select PPR context under the PPR session section, and you will see, the respective PPR context has been created. Now, we will open the powder bed fabrication application. To do so, go to the south quadrant of the compass, and activate the powder bed programmer role and then select the powder bed fabrication application. So you can observe that, a manufacturing cell is created under the PPR context node. Now first, we will define the build setup. To do so, from the setup section of the action bar, click build setup. Next, let us define resources. Click on Resources, and under the Powder section, click on Search Powder, and type the search string as TI6L4V, and select the titanium as a material, and this respective material gets updated once we select it. Then, we will create a new generic machine. To do so, click on Create a new generic machine. So in this parameter tab, you can define these following parameters for a generic machine. For example, we can set a bounding box inside the machine where parts are placed using build envelope. And if I scroll a little bit, you will find slicing step, recoding or rolling direction, and recoding speed. Leave all the parameters as default, click validate. Done. And you will find this. Generic powder bed machine gets added into the specification tree. In case, if you want to edit this generic machine, right click on generic powder bed machine and go to the powder bed machine and click on edit NC resources. Here, you can edit your generic machine as per your requirements. Then, click OK to validate. Now let us take the condition where you want to delete the generic machine. To do so, double click on manufacturing cell. Right click on generic powder bed machine and select delete. You can also search for a generic machine. To do so, double click on PPR context and again go to the build setup and select search machine and type string as machine and select the required machine. And here, you will find the new machine is updated into the specification tree. After defining a machine, the next step is to define a build tray accessory. Here in the accessories section, you can select an already existing build tray in the database or create a new accessory. For example, click on create a generic build tray. Here you would select build tray type, rectangular or circular. Let's go with rectangular. And in this generic build tray creation dialog box, specify the following parameters. Click OK and the build tray accessory is created and mounted on the machine. Close the dialog box, when done. In case, if you want to delete the generic build tray, right click on it. And click delete. Done. Therefore, your working environment is now ready. You can now prepare the parts. Thank you very much for watching this video.